Hello, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and welcome to this Luminar Neo tutorial, specifically how to blur your backgrounds in Luminar Neo. So here we are in Luminar and we're going to go to my albums and we're going to go to this selfie here and click edit. Now I've chosen this selfie because it's not a particularly good photograph and is kind of representative of most selfies in that the image quality is perhaps not that good, the composition is not that good and most of our background is entirely pin sharp. But we're going to change that. So along the right hand side here we've got various different adjustments including portrait and portrait bokeh AI. Now your primary adjustment with Portrait Bokeh AI is the amount option, which is basically how much blur do we want? Do we want it a little blurry? Do we want it very blurry? Now in terms of taste, we want the happy medium, but because this is YouTube, we'll dial everything up to 11 just so you can see the effect. Now we've got some other features. We've got background brightness so we can kind of reduce the background a little bit doing so might make your subject pop out of the image a little bit more we can also increase the brightness if that's the way we want to go it's a matter of taste guys we also have the ability to add a bit of glow to the highlights so if we've got sort of bright light sources behind me which in this photo we don't really we can sort of emphasize those bright points and it looks really good especially if you sort of ahead some led lightning christmas tree that kind of thing you get these nice little sparkles warmth we can make our photo cooler in terms of white balance we can make it warmer again entirely a matter of taste but since i'm wearing a jacket we'll go for the cool depth correction so this is how immediate our blur is. So at the moment, we can see that everything in the distant background is very blurred. Immediate stuff in the background, less so. Now we can change that. So we can make it so almost everything is very blurred. Or we can go the other way and make it so almost nothing is blurred. So the immediate things behind me still remain very sharp. And it's only really when we get to the mountains back here are we seeing any kind of real type of blur. So let's go extreme for the sake of YouTube. And then we've got edge correction. Now in some cases, most of the time Luminar Neo does a very good job picking out the subject from the background. If your photo is slightly more complex, you might notice you get a few sort of anomalies and you've got the ability to brush those, but an easier way to do it is to adjust the edge correction. So what we can do is we can sort of contract the edges, but this is having a rather sort of strange effect on my hair in particular. Or we can go the other way. We can go all the way back and expand the edges, in which case more of my hair is back, but I might also get a few artifacts around the edges where things aren't quite perfect. In this case, it's actually very good. And I think Luminar Neo got it right in the first place. So I've put it round about 20 out of 100. Now, the thing is, what you really want to do now is try these with your own photographs. And you can, because in the description below, there's a link to the Luminar Neo trial. It's seven days, it's free. You don't have to register your credit card or opt out or any catches like that. So you can give this a go, try it for yourself. And the other thing you'd like to try as well is the skin AI option. What this does is it enables you to relight your selfie so the light appears more flattering. And you've also got the ability to sort of smooth out wrinkles, remove spots and all of that kind of thing. And I'll show you all of that in another video. But anyway, for now, this is how to blur backgrounds in Luminar Neo. I really hope you found that useful. Please subscribe if you want to see more stuff. But otherwise, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and I wish you a very good day. Bye bye.